Hi, hi everyone. Welcome back to Rake Rides. My name is Beth, in case you're new, it's nice to meet you. Um, and if you're new, hit that subscribe button, all that kind of good stuff. Check out my Instagram channel, Riker Rides. Check out my website, www.rikerrides.com. So all that information and links will be down below. But the reason why you're watching today is my review and installation of the pedal box. So this is similar to other products. It's a little more streamlined and you know less um, kind of in your face. I love it. Um, I am going to do a review and install of this product. So uh, like all my other install videos I, I do, I'm gonna leave in um, any troubles that I have, any problems that I have with the install so you can learn from my mistakes. Hopefully this will go super smooth and it'll be like one and done and super easy, but let's take it slow and I'll show you how it goes. First, let me introduce you to the pedal box. This is how it comes. It comes in a nice, cool packaging. Um, I have it available on my website for the Riker 900 and also the Spider models. So if you have a Riker 600, and you are interested in the pedal box, just message me directly and I can order one special for you. But the 900 and the ones for the Spider are ready to go and ready to ship ASAP. So it could come to you within a few days after you order it. The 600 will take a little longer. Okay, that being said, paperwork aside, let's see what's in the box. Let's see what it looks like. So as you can see, it has a nice sleek design, very streamlined. It should be an easy install. It really is plug and play. You undo um, some ports on your bike, on your Riker or Spider, and you plug these in. It should be easy. My install today is gonna to be on the 900 Riker. And also, I'll take this apart. So look how nice, Look how nice this is. This is just so perfect. Plus, minus, what else do you need, right? And it comes in here is your user manual. And this will give you all your information about different settings that it has, um, all that kind of good stuff. So I'm gonna go over with you real quick. Um, the settings that it comes in, it does come with a five-year warranty. And it comes with a nice mount for your handlebar. And let's see how the mount works or looks like, so you'll know. So this is gonna be your mount that's gonna go on your handlebar and they give you some rubber spacers so you're not scratching up the handlebar because this is just pure metal in here. And some 3M tape as well as some Allen wrenches to make it perfect fit for your bike. But this will attach and it'll be a perfect um, slide that you can just, once it's on, it just clips on like that. So some people have it on their handlebars, some people just tuck it away so it's not even, I like my handlebars pretty clean, so I'm probably not gonna have it on my handlebar, probably, because once my setting is set, I'm probably just gonna keep it that way. I'm, I'm not one, like, I've never put my bike in sport mode, I don't put it in eco mode, I'm always constantly just riding in the regular mode. So once my mode is set, it's set. So. But if you want to change it and you want to do a more spirited ride, you kind of just change it up. So let's talk about the settings. There are four programmable settings and there's different combinations you can do. But um, so it comes in. Um, all right. So first is city mode. So city mode and the indicator light will become green. That's how you know it's in city mode. And city mode is for just kind of regular around town riding. Um, it'll, it'll be more for, um, if you're riding in slick roads, that kind of stuff. Um, and then there's sport mode, which is, will give you an orange indicator light. So I'm looking at my notes. Um, and that's good just for everyday riding. So I'll probably just throw it in sport mode and, and kind of leave it there would be my guess. And then there's sport plus. Now sport plus is going to be red indicator, meaning watch out. So I will definitely test this out for you and I'll bring you along for a ride with me after I have it installed. And the Sport Plus has, gives you the quickest throttle response you could possibly get. 
and it is, and I quote from their website, it is for thrill seekers. So be very careful when you're, when you're using this. It is definitely not for everybody. Um, if you're looking for a really fast, off the line throttle response, this is gonna do it for you. The throttle box will do that for you. And this also comes in, in, in stock. So stock, when it's in the white, um, white indicator light is on, the stock mode is how your bike, how the Riker, how the spider came originally. So if you don't like it at all, and you really don't want to take the effort of discon you know, disconnecting everything, just put it in sport mode and, it, I mean, I'm sorry, put it in stock mode, not sport mode, put it in stock mode and it'll get you back to your original settings. Other cool things about this is it will save your last setting. So for me, um, I'm probably gonna ride, be riding in sport mode for like everyday kind of riding. And once it's in sport mode, every time you turn your bike on, it'll, it'll go back to sport mode. So that's kind of cool. So you don't have to fiddle with the settings every single time. And the other um, thing that's awesome about this is it's basically self calibrating. Um, it's, it's called auto calibration. And it, what it does is it reads your bike, it sets your bike, it stores it. You don't have to bring it in for any additional tuning when this is on. That's very important. A lot of people ask me that, is this gonna cause me to have to extra tuning, is this gonna throw fault codes? It will not throw fault codes. You will not get a VS, VSS reading when you install this. The only time you're gonna get a VSS reading with this would be my guess is you can be riding the brake because the throttle response is so, is so intense. So if you're riding the brake, that will in fact throw you a VSS code. So it's not this, it's kind of a user error. And I can see why people do that because you're gonna, it's gonna throw you back. Um, I can't wait to test this out. I can't wait to see how it does. And um, with no further ado, let's get, um, let's, get, let's get started. Let's install this and, um, and, see, and see how it does. And then I'll take you for a ride along and, um, and see how intense this is. I'm actually a little bit scared to install this. I gotta tell you, um, it, it's, I've heard great things about it. I've always thought the Riker has plenty of throttle um, throttle response. So, it, and I've been riding now for, in October, it'll be three, three years. So I've been riding this for a while and every once in a while I'll be at a red light to turn green and I hit the throttle as is and I still sometimes forget the power that it has and I'm thrown back. So now I, I can't wait to try this out in Sport Plus, the uh, adventure seeker mode and, uh, and really kind of gun it at a light and, and, see, and see what it does. So come join me and let's go outside and, and, and install this. Take care. I'll see you outside. When installing the pedal box, the first thing you need to do is take off this front left panel. Now I went ahead and did all the work for it because I've done it several times, but just as a quick refresher, you wanna open up your trunk and there's two bolts right here. You want to also pull back your gas cover right here. And there's going to be two push pins right here. One, two. And then there's going to be two push pins right here. One, two. So you remove all those push pins. And then you are simply going to pop this little pop this side panel right off and be aware that there is a little connection point right here that connects to here um, to here when you put it back on so just be careful taking that off mine has some extra wiring don't worry about that that is for my fog lights so I'm just going to place this gently down somewhere and show you guys your access point here so what we are working with right now is this section right here. And I'm coming at it from the side because I want to show you the correct way to take this off and then I'll come at it from different, um, a different angle for you as well. And the other videos, they just kind of glance over this part and they tell you that, yeah, it's really hard and they skip over it. 
I'm going to show you why it's hard and how to how to get this off where it's actually not that difficult. So you want access to these two plugs in here, there's three access points. One, two, three. You're not touching this one, you're only working with these two. These are the two that are going to let you put your pedal box on. So this one you just want out of the way, so you're actually going to pop that off. And the easiest way to do that is I just took a just a basic Phillips head screwdriver and you get in there. Now there's two, I'm gonna get real close with this, so forgive the camera shakiness here. If you look way close in there, there's a like a push pin system right here and right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my screwdriver and I'm gonna get in there in between these two pins and I'm gonna, sorry, it's a little bit too close. There you go. And I'm gonna just gonna get in there and once I feel like it's all, all the way in, then I'm going to just pop it off. It's really not that hard. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other ones already done. And then there's a back one in here. You wanna do the same thing on the third one. There you go, it popped off. That one took a little bit of effort, only because my screwdriver is not long enough so I didn't have the leverage. But now all three of these are up. Okay, these are your adapters. So now that they're all taken off, it's hard to tell which one, you know, from the, the left two that you're going to use because it all depends on how the bike was assembled. You know you're not going to be using this big, huge one. So it's going to be one of these two. And how you tell is based on the amount of wires coming out. So for example, this one has the six wires coming out. So this is one you're going to use because if you look at the adapters we're gonna use, there's six pin adapters. So a six pin adapter is gonna to go to the six pin adapter. Whereas this one, if you can see, only has the four wires coming out. So you're not gonna use that one. So this is the one you're gonna use. And I'm gonna show you how to, um, they're already taken off, but I'm gonna show you how to undo this. Um, Cause this isn't as easy as just moving this up and down. You need to, Push any tools will work. Um, you need to push in on this red tab and then pull up the top one. And you're gonna put a little bit of pressure on that. A little bit of pressure on that. I'm at a weird angle because I'm filming. Okay, so see how this came up? So this and see how it popped out? That's how you know this is this is ready to go. Now these this is what everyone complains about. They're, you can pull on this all day long. You're never going to get it off. What you need to do is underneath here is a little, um, you're not going to get in there, um, but underneath here is a little lever and you need some kind of little tool to get in underneath it and then push it towards you to snap this apart. So while you're in there and kind of get a feel for it, you want to be able to pull this apart as you're pushing this. So again, you'll have an easier time with it because you're not going to be filming. It's a little tricky to do. Um, but once you get it in there, it's actually quite easy, but <sighs> see? And I'm going to show you what it is, and that was in real time. So if you can see right in here, there's a little tiny lever. And that, this red area right here, see where I'm pointing to? Yeah, there you go, right in there. That's what you're trying to get your tool underneath. Something thin, this probably wasn't the best tool. A little tiny flathead screwdriver to get right there to pop that tab and it opens right up. And yes, this is the six pin adapter. And now I'm going to hook up my pedal box. So your pedal box did come with two. Um, so it's boy to boy to girl, girl to boy, you know the drill. So this is going to go, this one's going to go in this one. And you want to line up your tab with this tab. And again, see this tab in here? It's going to lock onto that. So you push hard, make sure you get a good connection. And then don't forget, let's lock this back down again. And then now we're going to put this one on and snap it in. You hear this nice click push it down, you're ready to go. It's really not that hard, it's a pretty easy install.
and then we're gonna put everything back together. Ah, oh, awesome. So then now what we're doing is we're putting these push pins back in. So for example, see, can you get in there, Steve? See right there? We're just gonna push those back in. Then this is gonna get pushed in. Then this is gonna get pushed in. All right. Whew. Okay. Now, I'm just gonna get some zip tie and make this all nice and neat. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna tuck it in because I'm anxious to get, to get this started and see how it looks. I've got some tie wraps if you need it. Actually, you know, it's okay. It's not gonna go anywhere in here. Um, you just wanna tuck it away so it's a nice, neat, clean install. Put your ear back together. Don't forget about this part right here. Make sure it's lined up nice. All right, and then put my push pins in real quick. Put the floor back in. And then don't forget about the two right here. It's amazing how many wires and stuff I have hidden in my bike. your pedal box to your Riker. You're gonna to wanna to start the bike and then hold the press and minus button down for at least three seconds. Okay, now that you see it blinking the red and green, you wanna twist your throttle from the neutral position slowly all the way till it's fully, fully twisted. more throttle response so you're quicker off the line 
the way to the fan comes off. All right. That was no exaggeration. If you saw my head, did you see my head go back? Mm -hmm. um, that is no exaggeration. It is it is like stupid, stupid fast off the line. Um, you, it's not as scary as I thought it would be. Like I thought I wouldn't have control of the bike on the takeoff. It is just super fast. It is very cool. Um, uh, this, this is a sick product. So if you're interested in, in this kind of stuff and this kind of, um, it is a very inexpensive way to get to, Get that feeling of a lot more power off the line um it is it is definitely worth it so there's a link down below check it out um sorry for the the helmet hair it's a thousand degrees here today but um thank you very much thank you steve for saving the day and showing us how it's done um, no problem i appreciate it. it's my my knight in shining armor <laughs> thank you so much and thanks for watching i will see you next week have fun and ride safe